Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Onward in October self-care series that we have um, starting off for you this month. We're so happy that you have registered to join us in this self-care series. For the next five weeks, we're going to be hosting different sessions, all with a focus on self-care. We hope this time can help you take care of yourself, uh, just your own mental, emotional, and physical health. It's so easy to forget to take care of your own self-care, but it is such an important piece to your own overall health that we shouldn't overlook. So each Friday, we're going to have um, 15 to 20 minute guided activity sessions, and then we will have some time at the end to get any answers to questions that you might have about the session for that topic of the day. So we'll, we're gonna be doing this for every Friday in October. And to kick off our series, we're going to have Amber Letcher and Nikki Prosh guide us through some simple breathing exercises that you can use anytime that you need a quick break. But before we get started, um, I'm going to ask everybody on today's call to put your name in the chat box, how you heard about this series, and where your favorite outdoor location to walk is in the chat box. So um, I'll just kind of start with myself and I'll just share since I'm already unmuted, but I'm Hope Klein. I am the SDSU Health Education Field Specialist with SDSU Extension. Um, I heard about this series because I helped plan and organize for it. And my favorite place to walk um, probably around home would be the Brookings Nature Park, uh, especially this time of year. You just have the crisp fall air, the leaves are starting to change color, and I love just hearing the crunch of the leaves when they um, have fallen onto the sidewalk or walking path. Okay, so while everyone else is sharing their information in the chat box, I'm going to start off with introducing Amber and Nikki. So Amber Letcher is the 4-H Youth Development Specialist with SDSU Extension, and she is based on Brookings campus. Amber works with youth and families in South Dakota by providing programming and resources that promote health and wellness with a special emphasis on rural communities. Nikki Prosh is the Health and Physical Activity Field Specialist with SDSU Extension. She works closely with Extension staff in South Dakota communities to provide statewide leadership on physical activity interventions, programming, and resources to a variety of sectors. She is a Yoga Fit Program Level 1 yoga instructor and just recently completed her 200-hour registered yoga teacher training. She enjoys practicing yoga on her own and teaching a weekly community yoga class in Elkton, South Dakota. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to put them in the chat box. Otherwise, we are going to get started. So Amber and Nikki, I'm going to turn it over to you. Is everyone able to see that okay? I always have to move around everyone's little framed <laughs> videos to get so I can see. Um, awesome. Thank you, Hope. And um, just to echo what Hope said, thank you so much for joining and taking this time, you know, for yourself. This, these are designed only for you. So we hope some of the activities we go through today are something are, that are tangible and you can take away from the session to really um, help you in whatever level that you need. If you just need something as a tool to kind of calm down or if it's something that um, means more to you than that, that's great too. Um, so we're going to talk about different ways to kind of increase your relaxation through using your breath. Um, before we get directly into some of the activities we're gonna guide you through, we thought it was important to kind of give you kind of the, the why behind our breath and why it's so connected to our emotional and physical um, feelings. Um, so just to give you an example and kind of to start, maybe think of a time where you were frustrated or, um, you know, sometimes our reaction is to let out a nice big, like a big sigh with our breath. Or maybe if you had a time where you were worried or stressed about something, your friend maybe told you to take a moment and just take a breath. So through those kind of easy examples, it's easy to see how, how we're feeling emotionally um, can connect to our breath. 
Um, but the same or the opposite is also true. So we can use our breath um, to maybe change or increase how we're feeling emotionally and physically. Um, so we can, um, you know, try different breathing techniques that can help us feel that sense of calm and relaxation that we might need to kind of, um, you know, slow your heart rate down and kind of bring you those feelings of relaxation. So looking a little bit at our um, our body and the nervous system. So there's the sympathetic nervous system and the parasympathetic nervous system. So we've all probably heard of the fight or flight um, reaction in our body. It's the typical reaction to stress and that is triggered by our sympathetic nervous system. So the opposite branch in our nervous system um, kind of acts in an opposite way. Um, our parasympathetic ner nervous system acts to calm um, kind of the relax and digest side of things. So um, the key to using your breath um, to get that feeling of calm is to really activate that parasympathetic nervous system. So breathing slowly and deeply can trigger that parasympathetic nervous system to engage um, that nervous system and then really lead to that feeling of calm and relaxation. So this is kind of the why behind breathing and connection to your emotional um, well-being. Um, so Amber and I like to use breath breaks in a similar concept of you've maybe heard activity breaks or brain breaks that um, they often use in schools. Um, so it kind of is, in, you know, set up in a similar way. It's really just taking time out of your day to take the breath breaks like it'd be an activity break. Um, <clears throat> You know, the important things to remember is, um, you know, relaxing your body um, when you are going to take the brain or the breath breaks, um, remove distractions. So if you're in an environment that is very stressful, um, maybe move to a different environment. Um, so you're removing yourself from that distraction or if you have loud music or TV, you know, really taking some of those external distractions out before you would practice your breath breaks um, are very important. And then you really, the goal of breath breaks is bringing that focus and awareness to your breath. Um, so if you're looking to feel on that side of relaxation and calm, it'd be focusing on the deep controlled breathing that would um, engage that parasympathetic nervous system. So Amber and I have, we have four different um, kind of guided breathing activities we'll take you through. Um, uh, it's up to you, you know, I want you to get into a comfortable position. Um, a lot of times when we're focusing on our breath, people like to close their eyes. So if you're more comfortable closing your eyes, um, you can certainly do that. I'll probably have mine open and shut as I'm talking and, and breathing. But the first method we're going to take you through is called the 365 method. Um, so really the 365 just stands for 365 days out of the year. So this is something that you can try to do every day um, to really focus on using your breath. Um, the overall goal is to practice it three times a day. And during each time is really shooting for six full breath cycles um, in one minute and then shooting for a full five minutes. So ultimately three um, sessions of five minutes of breathing. Um, so today, we, I won't take you through a full five minutes, but we will take, I will take you through a full minute of really just trying to get six breath cycles um, completed during that one minute. Um, so the hard part here might be doing the full inhale for five seconds and then exhaling for five seconds. Um, really just focus on me talking because if I'm talking, I sometimes need to take a little extra breath, um, but really focus on the counting up for five seconds and back down for five seconds. So I am going to start a timer here. I invite you to get into a comfortable position. Again, if you'd like to close your eyes, you can. Um, we're going to start. All right, here we go. So first we're starting just with that inhale, inhaling for the five counts, two, three, four, five, and then exhaling, four, three, two, one. We'll do that five more times, inhaling, two, three, four, five, and exhaling, four, three, two, one. Inhale again, two, three, four, five, exhale, four, 
three, two, one. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale again, three, four, five, exhale, four, three, two, one. One more, inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, four, three, two, and one. So that was just a minute there, maybe a little over. Um, when you start first start practicing, you might kind of have to kind of set your own cadence of, you know, if you're not used to taking those really deep breaths, um, you might just be counting a little faster. And the more you work on the deep belly breathing, the easier it'll be to inhale for those five seconds and then exhale back down um, for those five seconds. So again, this is called the 365 method, um, really relating back to the days of the year, practicing it three times a day um, for about five minutes each, or really whatever your schedule allows. If you only have a minute or just need a quick minute, that's okay too. Um, so the next one we're gonna do is alternate nostril breathing or just one single nostril breathing. Um, so it's just like it, it sounds, you're restricting airflow through one nostril to solely breathe through either your right nostril or your left nostril. Um, so there's kind of two, two options here and I'll let you pick which one maybe you wanna pick for today. But breathing through our right nostril, so that would be closing our left nostril is actually um, more on the side of activating and energizing. So this might be if you're feeling more sluggish or kind of need a, you know, to feel a little more upbeat, you might want to try breathing through your right nostril. Um, and this actually activates that sympathetic nervous system that we talked about in the fight or flight. So that's kind of why it's on the energizing and activating side is breathing through that right nostril, which um, flows the air, you know, from your nostril all the way to your pelvis, and then exhaling all that air back out. So if you're feeling like you need a little energy for this Friday morning, um, you can restrict airflow in the left nostril. Um, the opposite, so restricting airflow in the right nostril, so you're breathing through your left nostril, is kind of more on that calm and cooling side of things. So this would be if you're looking, again, for a little more relaxation, um, you're looking for a way to kind of bring the feelings of stress back down, um, that might be where you'd want to choose breathing through today. Um, it might also have benefits for if you have trouble, trouble sleeping at night, sometimes simply doing some breathing through that um, left nostril might bring your body um, into a more relaxed state and might help with some of that insomnia. Um, it may also help with feelings of anxiety and um, you probably could guess it activates that parasympathetic nervous system that does the calming and cooling. <clears throat> so I'll just take you a few uh, through a few breaths. Um, as you could probably guess too, this one, if you are congested or if you have a cold, it's one you probably want to avoid just because it'll make breathing extra hard. Um, so if you can't try today, feel free to try it whenever it works. But I'll, again, I'll let you pick what nostril you want to close. If you want to activate, um, close your left nostril. If you want to calm, close that right nostril. So just take your thumb and gently apply pressure to that either side of your nostril. My, <laughs> my talking might change in the the pitch of my voice. Um, but all I'm gonna have you do is again, you can close your eyes or leave them open. We'll take a nice big inhale, solely breathing through that one nostril. And then same thing, exhale. All that air back out, just breathing through the nostril. Let's do a few more rounds, inhale. And exhale. Inhale again, really envision your breath flowing from your nostril all the way to your pelvis. And then exhale, envisioning all that air coming back out. Let's do two more. Inhale. And exhale. Last one. Nice full inhale all through that nostril. 
and slowly exhale all that air back out. Good job. <clears throat> so again, remember breathing through the right nostril, so right activating, breathing through the left is calm and cooling. So this is another um, breathing technique that you can try. And those are my two. I am going to turn it over to my colleague, Amber, to go through. Thank you, Nikki. I, you can probably hear my, my dogs barking in the background. They are, they are activated. They're energized. So I think that worked out well. Um, so the, the two exercises I'm going to share with you today um, focus more on if you're having maybe some trouble um, with frustration or that, that stress is kind of uh, putting you into a negative space and you need some help either cooling down or or bringing some of that uh, positivity back to your life. So the first one is uh, cooling breaths, which actually helps you with both cooling down physically. So if you're just in a warm environment or if you're feeling a little hot in terms of emotion, um, it can also help relax you a bit there too. So um, for this exercise, it works well, you know, at your desk, if you just want to sit in a comfortable spot. And what you're gonna do is try to uh, curl your tongue. So if you open your mouth just slightly and then try to wrap your tongue into almost a tunnel shape. And so you're probably happy that your, my, your camera's off so you can practice this, but uh, I'll demonstrate for you. Um, so just making like a, a straw shape or a tunnel, if you could see that. Um, if you have trouble doing that, because not everybody is able to curl their tongue that way, um, an alternative you can try is just attempting to touch the edges of your tongue to your upper lip and then uh, use your lip to kind of close or make that circle shape. Um, so that's an alternate if you're not able to do it. You're just trying to uh, create a smaller opening than if you had your mouth open completely. So um, if you want to go ahead and get into that position and then you can practice just by breathing in slowly through your mouth and what you should feel is a cool rush of air coming through in your mouth just very slightly. And as you're doing that you want to breathe in uh, through the mouth and then slowly breathe out through your nose. And coordinating this will take a little bit of practice as well. Um, it can feel kind of odd to, to be breathing with your tongue in that shape and then exhale through your nose. But um, we'll do just a couple rounds. Um, it's recommended to do this five, or five to 10 times if you're trying to get that cooling sensation. So um, I'll have you just sit in a comfortable spot. You can close your eyes if you'd like. And then we're going to start by trying to, to curl your tongue into that shape if you're able. And we'll take a nice deep breath in through the nose, or sorry, through the mouth, just feeling that cooling breath. And then try to switch, breathing out through the nose. And again, breath in through the mouth. Feel that cool sensation. And exhaling out through the nose. And you can continue on at your own pace. Try to do three more breaths. You just finish up, exhaling out one more time. And 
And so hopefully that helped. You felt kind of the change in your body and uh, maybe your mood as well. Um, I like this exercise since it's, it's good for hot temperatures and hot tempers, right? There's a tool to use. The last exercise that I'll share with you um, is more on the end of that positive thinking uh, spectrum. So if you're familiar with uh, kind of mindfulness practices or just self-care in general, we really try to focus on positivity, right? And the goal here isn't to ignore the, the negative things that are going on or the, the feelings of frustration that you have, um, but instead, to just recognize that those negative things exist. Um, they're valid, you know, those feelings of frustration have a, a lot of value, um, but what we're trying to do is limit the amount of control and power that they have over your current mood or just your, your current situation. And so this next exercise has you pair some positive thoughts um, along with acknowledging those negative thoughts and trying to kind of exhale them from your system. So um, it helps with self-awareness and it also helps a little bit with stress management. So in this exercise, I'll have you think about a positive affirmation. So something that you would like to breathe in, um, something that you want to focus on. So maybe you're going to breathe in calm or you're going to breathe in peace happiness, joy, something positive that you're going to bring into your system. And then as you exhale, you want to breathe out some of that negativity. So in this sense, you might, you might exhale frustration or you exhale some of that worry. Um, and so when you're matching your breathing um, along with those positive and negative thoughts, um, we're, we're again, we're putting value on both of them and trying to give more power to those positive aspects. So um, I'll give you a second to just kind of, you know, think about one positive affirmation that you want to use and then uh, what kind of stressor are you going to breathe out and then we'll practice for a little bit, um, just breathing in and breathing out. So as we get started, go ahead, sit comfortably in your chair and relax those shoulders. If it helps, you can think of a string kind of gently pulling your head up just to make sure you have that good posture. Close your eyes if you'd like. And we're going to start just by some, some good breaths. So go ahead and, and take a deep breath in through the nose. And then exhale that out through the mouth, emptying your lungs completely. And as you continue breathing, I want you to bring that positive affirmation to your mind. Whatever it is for you. And then in your next breath in, I want you to repeat, I inhale, peace, whatever your affirmation is. Hold it in for a second and then exhale out any negativity. I exhale anxiety, I exhale stress. Repeat that positive phrase when you inhale. And exhale out negativity and keep going at your own pace.
let's take one more breath in. And exhale one more time. And as you come back, feel free to share those positive affirmations in the chat box. I always like to get new ideas, so if you're willing to share. Um, otherwise, uh, Nikki and I are happy to answer questions, and uh, we'll also turn it back over to Hope. I think we have a, maybe some polling questions to ask after this. Yeah, first I'm just gonna provide a minute for anybody who has any questions, you can feel free to unmute your mic and go ahead and ask out loud, or you can simply put it in the chat box. We've had some good conversations um, going in the chat box. Thank you to those of you that have shared just a little bit about yourself and how you've heard about this series. Um, I know there was interest, someone asking about um, being able to access this great information after this session's over. Uh, this is being recorded, so once we have the link live on the Extension YouTube channel, the direct link to the recording will be going out. So you'll be able to um, actually go through exactly this again, which is really great. Okay, I don't see any direct questions coming in the chat box yet. Um, you still have a few minutes to think or type one out if you have one. We do have three polling questions that I'm going to launch here quick. Um, and it's just kind of so we can gauge how our different topics are being received by our participants. So you'll see the first one came up. It said, did you feel today's session was a good use of your time? And I'll leave that up there for just a little bit as responses come in. Hopefully everybody was able to maybe turn off their work email um, and just be able to allow this time for yourself to relax on this Friday morning. All right, I'm gonna give it about five more seconds. It looks like we have a couple more responses maybe waiting to come in. Okay, share the results quick. So um, most, or everybody that responded, um, which we had 29 responses, did think today was a good use of their time. All right, question two of three. How would you rate your knowledge of benefits and ways to practice self-care based off of today's session? So how confident are you that you could practice any of these strategies at home? And Nikki did share in the chat box, there is a link to an article on our extension website about using your breath. And it does have a really great summary um, of a lot of the exercises that we did here today. So there's a great resource for you to be able to use as well. All right, I'm gonna end the poll, share the results. Um, so it looks like we have a lot of people who are feeling confident and then a little bit feeling somewhat confident or very confident. So hopefully that article and then the recording to today's session will help boost your confidence a little bit further. All right, last one, how confident do you feel to perform this self-care activity on your own? All right, I'm gonna end that poll, share the results. All right, so most people are feeling at least somewhat confident, but mostly confident or very confident. So that is great. Thank you everybody so much for taking a half hour to join us today. Um, we had a good response and we're very happy with that. So don't forget to be joining us next Friday. You'll get a reminder email again. Um, and next Friday, we're going to be talking about financial wellness. So we'll have our um, family resource management field specialist uh, joining us and talking a little bit about financial wellness. All right. Thank you, everybody. Have a great Friday.